We're so glad you're with us, and we're so excited to share with you today the findings uh, from what we believe is the first ever national survey of student nurses and clinical students. Uh, we know that uh, many hospitals uh, and many schools do post-rotation surveys, uh, and you get a lot of great insight from those post-rotation surveys. We also know that the American Association of Colleges of Nurses publishes its research on graduation uh, and employment of nurses, but we saw an opportunity to take a slightly different view of clinical students and student nurses and bring to you some amazing insights based on the voice of clinical students and student nurses. And that's where we, we've put together this national survey, which as I noted, we believe is the first ever national survey of students about their rotation experiences. Uh, and there's some great insights we're looking forward to sharing with so you today. Over the years, um, as Scott mentioned, many of our My Clinical Exchange customers really came to us with this idea of just take care of our clinical rotations with efficiency. Um, but now that uh, need is shifted. And so we are finding that there's plenty of data that we've collected, um, but we really are trying to figure out how do we unpack that for our users and, and maybe use it and put it towards the world of re recruitment. And so with this research um, um, effort, we started our inquiry at the top and really asked students if anyone within the health system that they were rotating at had reached out to offer any information about job opportunities or a potential career. And in looking at this data, um, we really came to our first finding or we, uh, we declared our first finding and that was 75% of students do not visit with HR or have a conversation with an employee of the health system about a potential job opportunity. And we believe this is where that kind of golden um, moment in time is to, to see if there's a, a, an alignment. And, and that's what many of our, our findings are, will uncover here over, over the next several slides. But, um, but just to kind of reiterate, so 75% of these students walk in to these clinical sites, but they do not hear from anyone um, within that organization about a future job opportunity. Um, and if we if we go to this next finding, um, maybe we could assume that many of these students already have a job or maybe they have something planned or, or lined up post graduation and maybe trying to recruit them might just be too difficult. Um, so we followed with the up with a deeper question um, to qualify this hypothesis. And that was of asking students if they already have a job lined up post graduation. And so for this, we received almost a 75% saying they do not. So if we add up both of these first two findings, this opportunity um, is growing. This um, students are not being recruited, uh, but more importantly, uh, they do not have a job lined up. And, and so that, that, uh, that opportunity or the possibility of joining that clinical site becomes even greater. And that kind of dovetails into just another layer of our research. So we wanted to really kind of capture the voice of the student. Um, and so we took the time to collect that survey from, like Scott mentioned, over 5,200 students. But he, we also wanted just to be diligent and validate some of the findings um, by hosting interviews with students. And so when we did this, we confirmed that the students are definitely open to being recruited but for a variety of reasons are not being exposed to these potential job opportunities. And this specific student um, shared that she really relies on her peers to fill her in on what she should be doing for a career. It, it kind of confirmed that peers have a really big influence on this generation of students. And so if we can leverage this with the needed exposure and awareness as to where we could potentially work and, and what work would look like, we could really potentially solve a very large staffing shortage. And so um, just kind of exposing uh, the student to what does it mean to be working at this facility and maybe coupling that with um, influence by a peer group uh, could unlock something that might not be currently happening. I think this um, finding seven is so interesting in the sense that, you know, what we see is that in total, 90% of students say that their confidence has increased. And so when you think of that, you may not think the, the, this probably this next finding won't be that surprising, but there is an interesting component to this. And that is they're highly satisfied with the department uh, or unit where they did their rotation. Um, and what we found here is that, you know, three out of four students 
uh, were willing to highly recommend, they were highly likely to recommend the department or unit where they did their rotation to other students. Um, and I think that ties back to the last two findings, both did it meet their learning objectives and did it uh, help build their confidence? But the other thing that we saw here in, in this answer was if they were highly likely to recommend the department or unit to other students, they were also highly likely to want to work in that department or unit, as Shanti touched on just a few moments ago. And just want to underscore the reasons why we see that. And it goes back to a slide that Shanti showed just a few moments ago, and that is the student's perception of the staff's engagement, the student's perception of this, the staff's working environment, and the student's perception of how welcoming the staff uh, was to them. And so just want to note, because we're, we're gonna talk about the preceptor in just a moment, but want to, to note, because I think it's such an important point, that all of the staff in the department or unit where a clinical student or a nursing student is on a rotation, the entire staff is impactful to the student's experience, so much so that it highly correlates to their willingness to, to uh, recommend that department or unit to other students. It's also highly correlated to their willingness to be interested in, in taking a job there. So that don't, don't forget that, that all staff has an impact on, on the perception uh, and interest of clinical research students. report contains all 10 findings and uh, along with some additional data and insights based on those findings.